September the 11th, 2023, day that will always live in infamy. As you're looking at satellite images over the Atlantic Ocean, Hurricane Lee is to the left. It's a Category 3 at 120 miles per hour. Hurricane Margo at the, in the right. The systems coming off of Africa, according to the models, are going to be playing a large role. One of them may follow Lee's path, and that's going to be rough on the uh, Bermuda area and the northeast coast, including uh, southeastern Canada. But again, we've got a Cat 3. Check it out. Well defined. Margo is too. It's in cooler water. And these things may start doing one of those uh, Fujihara effects that we saw in a video a couple times back where the storms can affect themselves. We'll see. But now the models are definitely drifting around Bermuda instead of across it. They're still going to get a lot of waves and wind and things like that. You're about to get some gale force winds on the outer banks of this and uh, then that will lead into tropical storm and hurricane strength winds as it moves past you guys and you will be on the rougher side of the storm but uh, that's what we have now let's look at the infrared while we're here and this gives you an idea of how much stronger lee is than margo to the right its center is completely wrapped in thunderstorms and margo's a little further north and it's dealing with some of that Saharan sand layer and so the, it's kind of breaking part of it apart but usually those storms that far in the north don't, uh, don't affect much of Canada and uh, the US but you guys up in the uh, UK you always seem to have to deal with this in Ireland now this is a little closer look at Hurricane Lee you can see the, where the eye is and it's going through the cycling now they're saying uh, let me back up I'm, we're going through these updates live as of 8 p.m. this morning that update they had it recycling into a category 4 before downgrading it back to a category 3 and then a category 2 instead of a 1 as it moved further north but we're going to go through this while I, ha I have time to sit down and uh, look at it together very impressive hurricane now this is the 11 a.m. eastern time uh, update guys we're seeing it again together for the first time now, it has gone back to a Category 1 in the uh, prediction by the time it uh, gets west or, uh, yes, west of uh, Bermuda here. But here we are at Cat 3. It's looking like Monday, 8 p.m. tonight, 125 mile per hour, Category 4. Then slowing back down to a Cat 3, to a 2 here, and a 2 here. This is Thursday morning at 8 p.m. 105 mile per hour storm it's moving northwest right now it hasn't made that full north turn at eight miles per hour but normally you'll see these markings about 12 hours apart and you can see a pretty good gap but because these are so close together that's telling us again now it's at eight miles per hour but it's going to continue in a slower pattern until it's pulled into the north it's running to the side now waiting for that high pressure to open and so during this slower period of time while it's strengthening, we'll have to pay close attention to what's happening north of this. Is a high pressure set up strong or is it weak? Is a system that's coming off of Appalachia that's uh, predicted to move across, will it make it out into the ocean and curve it one way or the other? We don't know that, but we'll, there will be a lot of changes on these patterns, more than likely because of the slowdown here. There's 120 mile per hour winds. 948 millibars of pressure northwest at 8 miles per hour. Now this was updated 30 minutes ago. There's definitely a left turn once we start getting past Bermuda. You'll see a couple of turns right, but you've got the Navy model that's this purple line that's coming up under the P. The Canadian model is right here under the U and the T. It's that lighter green. And it makes it a little hard with this banner here. And we see the Navy model coming up and possibly curving back right here. But this is going to be so close to shore, there's going to be a lot of people affected in Maine and possibly a little further to the uh, south from there. But you're going to have high winds, waves, currents, uh, rip currents, the whole nine yards flooding inside of New York in that area with uh, again, heavy rains, wind, power outages. So make sure you're prepared for that now. If you get extra water or batteries or you, whatever you need, food and things like that, 
then you'll always have it, right? If, in case it misses you, it's, it's not wasted money, in other words. But make sure you're not going to be trapped where you can't get to uh, somewhere to replenish your supplies. Let's go through three of the models. The European model, the Navy model, and the Canadian models. First, the European model. And you're going to see something in their model that uh, we talked about in a video a few days ago called the Fujihara effect where two storms can react with each other and almost oscillate us around a central point. But it's a couple of videos back. It's exploding there and I have a video from Noah or someone that put it together. But anyway, let's play this through. It's fast, but we'll slow it down after it. Let's let it play though. There's Lee. There's a storm coming off of Africa right there, but notice the interaction between Lee and Margo. Let's, let me stop this, and we're going to play it forward a little slower. Lee makes that last-minute curve back into Maine, all in this area, guys, along the northeast, Massachusetts. You know where you're at. Check this out. Right the last minute. And so the center looks like somewhere would be in Maine, but you're going to have the left and right area of that. It comes in. We'll stop it here. It's September the 17th. It's well ashore. Let's back it up one. September the 16th. It's going to be a critical situation on watching it to see exactly where that center comes ashore because the right side of the storm is going to come in, and that's always the rough side. Now, it... It's predicted to be a Category 1 by that time, and that's the best-case scenario with a storm this powerful. But because it's so strong, remember it has a lot of inertia out in front of it that from the forward push being a Cat 3 and 4. At one time it was a 5, and so even though the center can slow down, that outward inertia is already put in place. It's already on its way. Let's step it through. That's the 16th, showing it coming ashore right there in Maine on the 17th making that right turn then across Canada let's see this is the storm coming off of Africa that we're concerned about and let us play it through slowly and you catch that Su uh, Fujihara effect here's Lee Margo watch their interaction Margo's pulled up behind Lee, and on the, let's stop it on that last day, we'll see what we've got right there. That's uh, September 21st, Again, today is the 11th, not that long out, but it looks like it's uh, going to be a powerful storm. Now that's as far as this one goes out, let's look at the other models. Let's take a look at the Canadian model, In Lee, Margo there, storm coming off of Africa. almost the exact same path except I noticed that Lee is turning to the right or to the east a little faster than the Canadian model right when it's uh, skirting Maine check this out I'll stop it right in here that's the 16th we'll just step it through from here notice it's coming into the main area on the, from the left side of the storm but it's starting to make that right turn here where well, you're in St. John's, Newfoundland area here, southeast Canada, but uh, and then it starts coming back north into uh, the island there. Check that out. We'll let it play forward, and notice your reaction to the other storms. This one pulling back out. That's a good thing. You won't get that double whammy there. But again, the 16th, guys. Uh, five days away is when it looks like it's going to be important. You're going to be need to be prepared all through the northeastern U.S. Remember, it seems to be slowing down in its turn, and that's going to give everything time, again, north of this, to shift around. Now, we'll take a look at the Navy model. Now, this is the U.S. Navy model, the latest one they've got out. We'll play this forward one time. Notice... There's the north turn, but it's not, again, it's not turning out just like it was this morning. It's not turning out to the right as fast. It's pretty much sinking right through the Maine and Canada border, right where they meet. It almost looks like the center circulation. Let's stop this. 
Let it come back around. That's a 16th here. Step it forward. Still a 16th, 17th there. It looks like um, tip of Long Island guys, Nantucket, are involved in some of the stronger winds. Not the eye at this point. And just step this thing forward one more time. There's the 17th. Maine, your, your coastline, everything from New York, Rhode Island, I mean Long Island, excuse me, up through Rhode Island, and uh, parts of Canada are fully involved with the outer uh, winds of the storm now. And this thing could vary left or right over the next five days. Let's play it through, guys, and watch the uh, effect between Margot and Lee on this thing. It's throwing it in a full circle, trapped by this high pressure and possibly part of this Fujihari effect that we've been talking about. Look at that. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Now, uh, the African storm, let's kind of keep an eye on what is happening to it. It possibly is being absorbed into Margo at this point. Instead of a storm trailing in behind it, it's pulling everything in behind it. That's a powerful storm, Lee, guys. You're going to have record rain, record flooding. I can tell already because of the, again, maybe coming in as, as a one, but there's a lot of energy being thrown out. There's already, at, even today, when, and let's look at it right now, when it goes through one more time here. Let's back up. All right, here's today, the 11th. They're already putting out issue warnings uh, and watches for uh, under tow currents, a little higher waves and everything along the coast of Florida just because of the strength of the storm and what is being thrown out since it became a Cat 5. Then it's going to get a lot closer than this. We'll let it just play through one more time. Yeah, right up your eastern border, man. But guys, we're watching this. Uh, also, if you haven't seen it, and I'll put a link into the live video, the Kilauea Volcano is erupting inside you know how instead of blowing the top out we'll see that lava lake fill in and the last time we were watching it that we were seeing the sides of these huge cliffs cave in and then it was breaking out in different locations south of there remember the lava was going through some tunnels and working its way southeast over the island and we were seeing fires and it's dangerous right now because we how dry it, it's been and you saw what happened guys uh, in Maui right anyway I'll put a live feed to that uh, volcano there it's USGS I think and there they have a YouTube channel but we're watching this guys in this evening when we get our updates in we'll see how it changes and each day now we're going to start to be able to narrow down this impact point but there's always that chance just like Hurricane Michael did the last few hours made a hard right and changed everything in Florida anyway we're watching it. You watch it, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.